Hey YouTube, how you doing? I'm going to be putting on the cover for the crankshaft and the camshaft. Here it is. I uh, decided I was going to go and replace this uh, seal, which is just a seal on the crank. And uh, these things are hard to get in. They certainly are not a lot of fun. This is my second go with this. I finally got it. Um, the first one I banged up and bent, tweaked, trying to get it in. So um, I just put in another one using a inch and a half round pipe. But even that tweaked it. It's just such a tight fit. But hopefully I won't get any oil leaks uh, with that. So I'm going to start putting this back all together. I got to get the uh, oil seal on, and we'll do that next. Okay, and this part is 0103. Dash zero eight one zero. Oops, sorry. And uh, this would be the um, gasket for the gear case. Okay, we got the uh, gear cover on. I just put the little plastic um, timing cover cap. Put that on. And now what I'm going to do is I think it's a good time for me to get the um, oil filter housing on since that'll go right on here and uh, that probably would be easier for me to get that done now. So we'll see. there's actually four holes that I have to line up on this. So we'll just put this on like that. And I've got the a new, I don't know if you can see it, but right here that's a new oil pressure sensor. It's uh, automotive style. It's used on, I mean, if you go on eBay, they're, they're used all over the place on all different kinds of vehicles. So I was fortunate that I could get one of those inexpensive for the one I broke. That's the, that's the other problem with doing a restoration is that you wind up breaking things that you probably like to save. Ooh. I've been asking about these wrenches that I have here. I'll show you this here. I got these for Christmas a long time ago. Here's a half inch drive. Normal uh, closed end there. But over here on this end, Craftsman, I don't even know if they still make these, but it really is ingenious because you put it on a bolt and as you turn it tightens with this little tooth here, the inside teeth there, but as you stop tightening and you want to reposition, you keep it on the bolt and you just go right up and it'll, this opening here, this little round opening there, will allow it to slide over the bolt and then you can start applying pressure. Um, I've had really good success using it and it doesn't strip um, you can put a lot of pressure on it, and it it uh, it doesn't strip the bolts. So take a look, Craftsman. They make those. I haven't seen them anywhere else, um, and I, I'd have to say that this set's probably about 15 years old. But uh, one of my first tools that I got as a uh, Christmas gift. All right, so now we're going to work on a little magneto. Clean this up a little bit. I just want to get this lined up exactly the way I took it off because it worked when I took it off. I don't think we should we get that out correct. I'll tighten those up. Snug those. They're snug, don't want to over tighten. Okay, so we're good there. This is the stator. I clean this up. This will be going back on. just locks on here. I do have one bolt I have to remove because <clears throat> I have one bolt that uh, has to come off. Okay, we'll tie this stator on now. 
put this on. Three long three eighths inch bolts. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the lifters in. We have um, and the valves. We have uh, some new uh, valve stoppers that we have to put in and uh, we'll start with the lifters because those have to go in first so uh, then we'll start putting the valves and get that done. 30 amount of 30 weight oil on here and then we'll put in the intake valve. Don't be shy there. Take that was just the exhaust we put in. Good coating of oil on that. This is a thick, um, thicker oil, it's 30 weight, straight 30. And we'll slowly slide that right in there. Okay, next step <coughs> is to replace the uh, valve seal stem. And that's just a nice new soft rubber uh, piece that'll go on. The other ones were 800 hours old and were brittle. So these will just pop right on. 5090289 and that's from Omen. Alright, we'll be putting the valves and the valve springs in. Here's my new valves that I just got uh, reground. I don't want to say they're new, but they're like new. They're all polished and reground by uh, the machine shop, so ready to put those in now. Alright, so I got my uh, valve cap in and have the valve pushed in flush. Oh, that fits nice. So now I got to do is I got to compress this. Here's my valve compressing tool, which looks like something you'd see in a doctor's office. It's a crazy thing. You guys might get a little woozy here, a little dizzy as we move around. I got this camera is loosely attached, so we're gonna get that like so. Now, oop, oh, lotta. All right, so now what we're gonna do is attach the keepers. Okay, so I just put the keepers in. I use a drop of oil just to keep them from sliding. And I'm just going to release this slowly and hopefully this will go right over the top. Just like so. Excellent. One down. And we'll do the next one. Alright, tubers, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos on this Onan restoration.